I'm Jules. I'm one half of the Nutty Nitty Sisters here on YouTube with my sister Judith. And uh, this is a channel where we like to share our love of fiber with our fiber projects or fiber adventures or any of our fiber crafting. And uh, I want to thank you very much for clicking on the video. If you're new here, thank you for checking it out. I hope that you enjoy it. If you're returning, um, thank you for coming back. <laughs> we love having you here and enjoy you in our community. So yes, I am here with day three of the Yarn Stash Restash 2023. This is presented by Anne Frost of the I Thought I Knew How podcast. And it's basically a framework for evaluating your stash, going through everything, refreshing, evaluating whether you have things that need to be addressed or things that maybe you want to change, um, maybe some things you want to get rid of. It's, it's just a, a basic guideline um, that helps you to go through everything in your stash and kind of ensure that when you go into the new year, you're ready to go. <laughs> so um, it's a process that is, is not meant to be um, shame or guilt into getting rid of things, paring down your stash. It's it's definitely not a pare down your stash kind of thing. Um, like I say, it's just to very intentionally evaluate your stash. So it's always kind of an eye opener for me because I do have a lot of supplies. Um, I'm not just fiber craft in the way of knitting or spinning, um, but I also sew and quilt. And so I do have a lot of supplies. So it's, it's always a bit um, overwhelming for me, I guess is the best way to say it. <laughs> so anyway, let's get to day three. Be sure to check out my day one and two videos if you haven't. Um, it kind of brings you along to where we are now. Uh, my sister Judith is also participating, so be sure to check out her videos. And so day three took us from uh, emptying our project bags, sorting out notions, um, sorting out, getting rid of trash, and sorting out if there's anything that we do want to go into a donate bin. And then we put everything back in the project bags so that today we're going to look at the projects in those project bags and see if there are things that we want to remain in those project bags. If they are things we do want to work on, do we want to reclaim the yarn and put it back in our stash? Um, so that's what we're going to do is go through every one of these. Um, I did do an assessment of what I ended up with and I gave a, a rundown in my day two, but just quickly, I ended up having six blankets, three socks and two shawls projects. So um, this is also my stack here of what I have left over for totes, uh, project bags, and that's this is above and beyond. These are the empties for what I have here. Um, so these 11 projects are the 11 project bags that I'm going through here. And it's actually going to be a pretty quick process because most of these projects I know that I am going to finish um, earlier in the year. I kind of did this same thing when I swapped two rooms in the house around. Um, and so I have really kind of gone through these previously. So this is actually <laughs> quite easy. Um, of the six blankets that I have, um, the one in this is definitely a keep. It's a temperature blanket that I am doing for my granddaughter for the year that she was born. So that is definitely an in process. This is a project for a blanket that I'm doing from the advent for my sister Judith. We make an advent for each other and then swap them. And so this year's project is a blanket. That's definitely a keep. <laughs> I have in my Nutty Nitty Sisters <laughs> project bag, another blanket. This one is actually going to the very front of the line to get done. It is my advent blanket from last year. And I am on the third or second to last, I'm not sure how you say that. I, I have three little mini skeins. I'm on one of those little mini skeins, so there are two after that. And then this blanket is done. So this is definitely going to front of the line. I am hoping, and there's no reason why I shouldn't, be able to get this done on the weekend. So that definitely goes to the front of the line. All right, 
I also have another blanket, which is <laughs> also an advent blanket. Um, this is from Legacy Fiber Arts. I had their advent this year. Have started the project just a little bit, um, but definitely want to work on this one through the winter. So that will remain in its bag. I have a blanket, which is a, the Anthology Throw by Helen Stewart. Uh, last year's mm, knit bent is what she calls it. Um, if you look up um, Helen Stewart on Ravelry and uh, look for knit bent 2022, this actually I'm wearing the cowl too. I just thought of that. I have the cowl on too. This is called the Oddments Cowl. It was one of the projects in her knit bent series, and the anthology throw was also a project in that series. So this is all different mini skeins. Um, I actually don't have a whole lot of those left to do either. So this is absolutely a keep project. I am loving it. So I will end up keeping all of my blanket projects. I also have one crochet blanket project. This is a Tunisian crochet project. And I do want to finish this. This has been a good 20 years probably in the making. Um, and I do enjoy Tunisian crochet. I just got so into knitting that this went on the back burner. Um, in the past month, I have picked it up a few times and knit a, a row here and there. So that is going to be a keep. And I am hoping, hoping that will be a finished object <laughs> for 2024. All right, then I have two shawl projects. One of these shawl projects is the Hipster Cowl by Hohi Locatelli. It has a fair amount of progress on it. I love, this is a yarn that is from uh, a now retired dyer, <laughs> one of our favorite dyers. Um, this was a yarn to dye for designs. And this color is Patina and Rust. I absolutely love these colors. They are absolutely gorgeous. And that's what I am using to make my hipster cowl. And it is a very nifty cowl. It has some really slick detail here. Let's see if I can get up close so you can see it. I love these long stitches. They are a little bit fiddly but so fun um, and they give such great texture to that project so this is absolutely a project I want to finish as well so that's a keeper and the other shawl is another Hohi Locatelli <laughs> this one I'm gonna have to look I believe it's the Ziggy shawl it is a beautiful lacy detail. It's not all over lace, so it's not a ton. It has a nice spine there and some rest garter sections. And I just love it. This is in, I believe this is my Dunroving yarn. Yeah. And this is definitely a keep too. And then I have my three sock projects. So, this is, this is a sock of my own design, snow cap stripes, and this is from, the yarn is from Daisy Stitch Co. It is her candy cane mini set, and these colors are just so fun and so pretty, and I just wanted something nice and stripey with just a little bit just get just got a little bit of extra here a little bit of extra detail um, it's <laughs> it's something that I would like to think maybe I could do a pattern write up a pattern for but I have never done anything like that so I don't know <laughs> we'll see how bold and adventurous I get to figuring that out um, so this is definitely a keep, it's half done. <laughs> I've got one sock all done. Just need to get the other one done. So that's a keep. 
Next I have, so I don't often have the paper pattern in the project bag um, because I'm doing it on Knit Companion. And I'll put a link down below to Knit Companion. If you don't know what Knit Companion is, it's basically having your pattern in a digital format. You can have counters in it, which can either be a tap on your screen to advance your counter, or you can set it up to have uh, spoken word, say, to go to the next like row. Um, it's got highlighters and things like that that you can do. You can embed videos in your pattern. Um, it's got a, a timer in it so that each time you open that pattern, it starts a little timer so you can see how long you're spending on your projects. Lots of cool features. So I'll put a link about that in the description box. And these socks are the Stars in the Evening Sky socks by Cindy Craft. They are beautiful socks. And I bought the kit at Rhymeback one year. So that is all in here. It has nothing on it right now because I had almost finished the first sock and my floats weren't long enough so the sock was too small. So I took that sock all out, need to have a do-over, but I definitely do want to do them because they were a lot of fun to do the first time if I just do it right this time. <laughs> and last but not least, these are see if I can get it zoomed in enough so you can see it. These are the Sweetheart Socks. And these are by Natalie Coons. And this is, I haven't done a, a lot of color work, um, but they're very cute. These little patterns just little rows and each in a different color but again I'm trying to get my floats figured out this one unfortunately when I got it done also my floats were not long enough to work for me however they're not far off from my granddaughter <laughs> I think that she could probably uh, they were about the toes length too long for her right at this point. So it's only going to be another maybe year or two and they will fit her great. So although these may have to sit for a while, it's definitely a project I'm going to hang on to because it's half done. <laughs> so all of my projects that ended up in my project bags are going to be kept. I'm not frogging anything or putting it back in stash. Um, and I do want to try to work through whips, get those done for the most part before I cast anything else on. There are a couple of projects that, uh, like the temperature blanket, that doesn't have to be done until May, so I have time to work on that. There are others that are just, you know, things that I want to do. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to put any pressure on when those need to be done. I do have a couple of shiny things <laughs> that I would like to do in the near future. <laughs> so I'm hoping that gives me the motivation to get these whips going. It's definitely been a motivation to get everything sorted and organized and know what I have and to know that I, I only have 11 total projects in process and that many of them are not far off from being done. So uh, that was a nice welcome surprise. <laughs> so really fairly short and sweet day three. It was a pretty easy day three. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that, you know, you got some sort of inspiration, <laughs> maybe an idea or something. Um, so if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. That helps our channel. We appreciate it greatly. Uh, if you're new, we would love to have you subscribe and join our community. Um, click the little bell so that you get notifications whenever we do post a new video. And if you're returning, thank you so much <laughs> for being here, for checking this out, and for being in our community. Um, so again, thank you for watching. I hope you'll join me for day four. And good night.